When it comes to isolation, I think it's really hard to understand what is, that is like. You really don't want to go out, you try to hurt yourself because you have no life. People need to be told this story to see what we are doing to other people by treating them as different and that we call them idiots or retards. Lillestrom, Norway. A keenly contested game of football is taking place. No different from anywhere else in the world. Except this group is made up of players with varying degrees of learning difficulties. Such disorders, which can often go unrecognised for years, can lead to exclusion from what would ordinarily be perceived as a normal, everyday life. Such was the case for Stig Martin Sandvik. Life has been tough at times. I was bullied from nine until I was 16. I felt quite lonely and abandoned. The only ones I felt who supported me were my family. I didn't feel I had friends I could trust. I didn't even feel safe just going to the local shopping centre. Martin has always had a great love of football, but his condition led to him feeling more and more excluded from those around him. If it hadn't been for football, uh, it's no way to tell where Martin would have been today. Anders Kristad works for the Norwegian FA and has known Martin for a number of years. When he was really little, no one really noticed. But when he grew into 10 years, 12 years, people started noticing that he was a little bit different. And he suffered a lot of abuse, also physical abuse. And he went into isolation. And uh, he had a terrible time. And, and Martin had told me this himself. It wasn't until he uh, started in uh, high school that was who have adapted uh, education system for people with learning disabilities that he found someone he could trust. Despite feeling excluded from those around him, Martin never lost his passion for football and soon came up with the idea of forming a side made up of players experiencing similar difficulties. When I met Martin, he wouldn't dare to take a bus on his own. Now he's been travelling to London with a friend on his own. He's also now a, a, a member of our uh, inclusion committee and he's responsible now for uh, the flow of information. He's our little minister of uh, information. And it's not just Martin who has benefited from the club's development. My teammates have become good friends. We meet in our spare time. We don't just meet on the pitch, we also socialise together. This builds confidence and strengthens our solidarity on the pitch, and we understand one another better. The list of Martin's achievements is enough to inspire anyone, all the more so considering his background. He travels the world speaking on behalf of the Special Olympics organisation as a global messenger. They've done it themselves. There hasn't been anyone there except the players themselves. And it's a wonderful story and I, I, the story should be told. Everything is possible. Part of it is to help others and at the same time use football as a springboard. To use football as an instrument in daily life. It's important to make others happy. To elicit a hidden smile means a lot. That warms my heart.